Hello everyone, meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. Thanks for watching Valley News Live at 10 o'clock. We have some unsettled weather that's going to continue with another round Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Ah, Friday might be a little quieter, but still some travel trickery. And you'll want to have the Valley News Live weather app handy. Search a VNL weather in your app store today. One thing that separates this app from everyone else out there is the fact that we do video forecast updates. You can pick and choose what you want to see. Also, we have that interactive radar closings, delays, road conditions all available right there on the Valley News Live weather app. No matter where you go, it'll keep you ahead of the game. Here's what we are expecting for the main event on Wednesday and Thursday. You'll want to be home or in a safe spot by between 3 and 6 p.m. in most of our southern counties along and south of Interstate 94, along and south of Highway 10 in Minnesota. It's where the brunt of this storm is really looking to take aim. We'll be measuring snow in some of these spots in one to two feet, particularly in our southern and southeastern counties. But take a look at what we are watching for for tonight. First and foremost, we'll have temperatures overnight that dip down into the 5 to 20 below category. That's right. We're already in the teens below up north and wind chills will be 20 to 35 below. Now, as we go through the morning hours, we're expecting an increase in snow out in the central Dakotas and this will slowly spread our way. So by the time we get to the midday hour, it looks like that snow will be making its way in. Now on the northern fringes, the snow will be generally light. Notice we'll have some blue window wind arrows here. That's about 15 mile per hour winds. So some breezy conditions, but not like today for most areas in the midday hour. Temperatures climbing into the single digits. Snow kind of decreasing as this system heads to the south and east into southern Minnesota. So for our areas south of Interstate 94, south of Highway 10, we're expecting some accumulation of snow, a little bit of blowing and drifting, a little bit not less of an impact as opposed to today's event, which was in the Northern Valley, where, as we mentioned, we saw between one and five inches of snow measured early in the day, likely more than that throughout the afternoon and evening. Tomorrow night, north winds take hold, quiet but cold. Once again, coldest up to the north. How much snow? Our South Dakota counties could see two to five inches of snow, one to two in or around the Fargo-Moorhead area. That includes the I-94 corridor, Highway 10 and Point South, up north a trace to maybe an inch of slippery snow. All right, let's take a look at your forecast for the main event. As we go through Wednesday again, be where you want to be as we head into the late to mid afternoon hours. The snow will push up from the south. Those fans heading from Fergus Falls to root on the otters, heading from Moorhead to root on the spuds or heading from War Road to ho uh, root for those warriors, it looks like a tough travel toward the cities. You'll want to be there early because this system's going to be a slow mover. Increasing wind, snow potential right into Thursday and most of the day on Thursday. The hardest hit area here where you see the dark blue. So from the Southern Valley and into Southern Minnesota, lasting into your Thursday afternoon and evening. Then Friday, still windy, but it does look like we'll see a chance. Purple, pink, white, best chance of one to two feet of snow. That does include our far southern counties, lakes country as well, where you see these dark blues, including Fargo, Moorhead, Detroit Lakes, and northern Otterdale County up there. We're expecting the best chance of eight plus inches of snow. Most of our southern counties, lower risk for huge or high snow totals up north. Quiet right now. Visibility is improving as the wind decreases to under 30 miles per hour. Look at the cold taking hold up north. 10 below Devil's Lake, 11 below right now in Langdon. Morning temperatures will be brutal, 15 to 30 below wind chills tomorrow, single digits as the snow spreads through southeast North Dakota into the Southern Valley and Southern Minnesota. First alert weather days here in the Valley, Wednesday and Thursday, primarily impacting our Southern counties. Terrible travel conditions will be likely. We'll keep you posted on that. Gradually improving conditions as we expand through your weekend, but check this out. How about 11 days? Let's go out to next week. Temperatures climbing back through the 20s to near 30. Can't rule out some snowflakes in the forecast, but right now we're focusing on now through Friday. There is light at the end of the tunnel. There's just a lot of snow. It's a in the long middle. tunnel. Yeah, we, we, long, we'll yeah. go into the distance of the tunnel in another program. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah.